Hi, this is Steve Cazell. I'm here with this itty bitty cell tower here. Um, wanted to talk real quick about a topic that really just irks me. And sometimes I have to make a video just, just to lower my blood pressure. So let's talk about conflicts of interest in uh, wireless consulting. So uh, recently we had a, um, we had a um, gentleman give us a call. And he was calling because he needed assistance with the cell tower lease uh, negotiation issue that he was having. So uh, this gentleman gave us a call, I guess found us online, and reached out with his, you know, described his scenario and um, said that, you know what, you're not the first consultant that we spoke to. We actually spoke to, you know, one of your competitors. I said, oh yeah, well, how did that go? He said, well, you know, um, I explained the situation to him and uh, this this guy um, wasn't really interested in helping us get this lease negotiation going. He wanted to buy the you know he wanted to buy this deal. So I said wait, wait, he wanted to he wanted to purchase it. So he had no interest in uh, in helping you to you know to expedite a, a lease negotiation or you know and solve your problem. And he said no no he, he 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 wanted to buy this thing. So you know. You got to ask yourself, you know, the second that you represent yourself as a, as a, you know, consultant, and then you are on the flip side of trying to purchase the easement, you know, you, you've, you've immediately, um, you know, <laughs> you've screwed the pooch, buddy, you know, and, and this is, this is um, one of the consultants that is, is, you know, in the top, let's say three or four uh, on Google, you, you look for a cell tower consultant, I'm not going to name the company out in the West Coast. But, um, you know, you have a responsibility towards someone when they call you looking for help with a lease agreement, especially when your freaking website says you don't buy cell tower leases. It, you know, I looked it up, I read it. Um, it says you do not purchase cell tower leases, yet, you know, you were out there trying to buy it, you know. So, you really have to be careful when you're choosing a cell tower consultant. Ask them, do you have conflicts of interest? They'll be like, oh, of course I don't, you know. But the, the next question that you ask them is, well, uh, do you buy leases? Do you buy cell tower rental streams? Do you purchase them? And the second they tell you they do, how can that person represent you, um, you know, especially if it's a buyout situation, how can they represent you if in the back of their head they're looking to purchase this thing? If I was buying these things, I'd want to get it as cheaply as possible. Right? I wouldn't have an interest in helping you to get a better deal. Heck, I'd want to purchase, I want to lowball you, right? I want to get this as cheap as possible so I make the most money. So anybody that claims to be a consultant and that wants to buy your lease, you know, they are blowing, you know, they're, they're blowing smoke. And you really need to be careful. The other thing is, uh, Tower Genius, our firm, Kevin Donahue and I have uh, had in our, in our consulting agreements for as long as I can remember that we have no conflicts of interest. And what does that mean? That means that we don't get money from the lease buyout companies, from the tower companies, from the carriers. We don't get a dime from those people because we don't work for them. We work for the, the, the property owners. We provide these consulting, coaching services, and we don't get paid on two sides of the deal. Um, so, and the other confusing thing is like a lot of times you'll Google like cell tower consultant and all of a sudden, you know, it pops up, you know, Symphony or, or Crown Castle, it, you know, I guess just because they, they probably don't have the right keywords optimized, but you know, that's not a consultant. Those are, those are people that are looking to buy your lease. That's not a consultant. All right. So choose your consultants wisely. Watch out for conflicts of interest, especially when you have some weasel claiming to be a consultant that's trying to purchase your, your lease agreement. Weasel. I said it. I feel better now.